Welcome to Fabulosity for You, and my name is Angie. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please click the subscribe button, then click the notification bell so when I upload videos, you'll be the first to know. Like this video and make a comment. This channel is about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And if this is not your first time visiting my channel, well, welcome back, my queens, and welcome to the kings out there. So today is Friday, and let me tell you something. I am so glad that today is Friday. I had a long week, and thank God for Friday. It's Friday. Ah, 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 it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Today is Friday, and today is relationship topic night and i've been waiting all week to talk to my kings and queens out there and so here we are so today i have a great topic for you guys but before we begin i'm just going to say welcome to all my new subs oh my god we are so close to 500 subscribers i cannot wait to give give away the 50 dollar giveaway okay so we just we just keep subscribing and if you have been watching me and have not subscribed subscribe and help your girl angie out okay i'm trying to reach this 500 so i can give out this 50 dollar cash giveaway okay and so what I was going to say next is get on the line, put a note in a bottle and tell everybody that Angie is on the line tonight. Okay. And she has a good topic. I need you to text. I need you to pick up the phone. I need you to let everybody know that Angie has a great topic tonight. Okay. And she's on the line. All right. So before we begin, I just want to say I have on tonight i tried to get a little rah rah and 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 flashy with y'all tonight i have on a valentino jogging suit and i think it's fly yeah yeah it's fly it's fly and so i have on some valentino gym shoes and so i'm looking good for my kings and for my queens okay and so Let's begin. But before I begin, I just want to say to my new subs, if this is your first time with me on Relationship Topic Night on Fridays, um, I usually do either a Dear Angie or I do a topic. And if you have any relationship problems or you need some relationship advice, please. Email me on my business email, which is in the description. And if there's a particular topic that you would like to, for me to talk about, I would be so happy to do that. Just, as I said, email me on my business email and let me know what you like for me to talk about. Okay, so let's get right into it. So tonight, we're going to be talking about, and yes, if you see me looking down, it's because, yes, I'm reading. I wrote down... Uh, jot down a few things so that I don't lose track of what I'm talking about tonight. The top 10 communication techniques for couples. So this topic is really important because communication is very important in your relationship. Without communication, effective communication, your relationship cannot be successful. The good news is, if you don't have effective communication skills, then guess what? You can learn to have it. And so tonight, I'm going to give you the top 10 effective communication techniques, okay? So let's begin. Number one, do not talk at the same time. You have to listen. And it's, it's, it's so many couples that when you have something to talk about that might not be pleasant for the other person, something negative to say, everybody wants to jump in and start talking. And that's not going to 
ends up in a good conversation. So you want to listen. And you want to clear all distractions when your significant other is speaking. And you don't want to interrupt the person that's speaking. You don't want to listen. You want to listen to understand and not to rebuttal. And so many people that they just want to, as soon as you start saying something negative, they, they ready to jump in and thinking about what they're going to say to defend themselves when they should be really concentrating on what you're talking about. Because when you, when your mind is elsewhere, you're not going to be able to hear what your significant other is trying to tell you. Number two, you want to think before you speak or you will regret it. And you want to talk slow so that your partner can understand what you're saying. And you don't want to ramble because once you start talking a long time, especially when you're talking to a man, all he hears is wah, 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 wah. He's not even paying attention to what you're saying because you've been talking for a long time. You also want to keep the stick to one topic. Don't jump from you did this and then you did that and then you did this. Stick to one topic so that you can keep the attention of the person that's listening to you. And you want to speak at a a, a respectful tone. You don't want to have any sarcasm in your voice or anger in your voice because you don't want to have the listener become defensive. Number three, you want to give a who. You want to care. Okay. So you want to let the speaker, your spouse know that you have some empathy for how they're feeling. You also want to show that uh, you want to be respectful towards your spouse when they're telling you how they're feeling. And you want to make them feel important. And what they're saying is important. So it's important to show some empathy when your spouse is speaking. Number four is no hitting below the belt. You don't want to hit below the belt because you don't want your partner to be on the defense. And you're just not going to get anywhere in your conversation if you're you know, hitting below the belt. And hitting below the belt is saying something like, oh, wow, well, you know, you was that was stupid when you sat up and did this. Oh, that's not the right thing to say. That's just going to make that person, your spouse, feel angry, you know, and be on the defense. And when when it gets, when you get the conversation going the wrong direction by hitting below the belt, you're not going to accomplish anything with this particular conversation. It's just not going to go anywhere except for disaster. Number five, facts, please. When you are speaking upon something with your significant other and you said, well, you did this. And then they're like, well, I don't remember doing that. I didn't do that. You come with your facts. Oh, yes, you did. We was at your mother's house on Sunday at dinner. You want to come with your facts because people, you know, your spouses, everybody is always going to be like deny, and denying what they did. And this is when you really want to show ownership to what you've done. You want to show ownership. Number six, participate with sin sincerity and honesty. So the person that has the problem is speaking. You want to make sure that you are being honest. Don't throw anything extra in. And not only that, even though some conversations are tough to have, you still want to have those conversations and be honest about your feelings. If it's something that you did not like or somebody did, your spouse did something you did not appreciate, it is okay to let them know. And you have to be honest. You don't want to not say something because you don't want to be honest. And number seven, you want to echo 
what they said to you. And so what that means is after you've explained the problem, you want to say to your spouse, and you want to say it in a way there's no sarcasm, there's no attitude. You want to say, hey, sweetie, did you really understand what I'm trying to say to you? And if that person says yes, if he says yes or she says yes, then you say, well, can you just tell me what I said just to make sure that we're on the same page? I just want to make sure that me and you are on the same page. You don't want to be like, did you, did you really get what I was telling you? You don't want to talk like that. Okay, you want to have a nice, respectful tone. And if they say, you know what, I really didn't understand, that's okay. You want to use examples because what I what I'm realizing, even in my marriage, even to just this morning, I asked my husband, I said, Can you hand me the um what was it? I forgot what it's called, but it's like wipe, swipe. I said, can you please hand me the high, the the wipes? I said, it's in my powder room. It's in the drawer that is by the window. Now, in my powder room, I only have one window. And he was like, well, which drawer is it? I'm like, the, and I started getting frustrated because I'm like, it's, it's only one window. And it's by the window. Well, what is it that you want me to get? What's the name of it? I'm like. It's only, it's only one package of wipes. And it's like, I'm realizing I have to be very precise. He likes me to be very precise with him. And so I'm noticing with men, you know, you, they're not mind readers. You have to really explain to them for them to really understand. And so if your spouse or your man or whoever is like, I don't understand what you're saying, then use some examples so that they can understand so that you can be received. And then number eight, body. Body language is a nonverbal communication. And so you want to look at the body language of your significant other while they're speaking. If they have their arms folded or frowning or, you know, you can tell that they're really agitated and you don't want to agitate them further so you don't want to argue or anything like that you just want to listen and understand that they're frustrated and for the speaker that for the person that's speaking you want to be mindful of your body language so that you do not make the person that's listening be on the defense nine you want to respect to agree or disagree if you disagree, do not dismiss, okay? So if you don't agree, don't be like, girl, bad, get on with that. that I don't agree with that. That is <laughs> the wrong way. You just say, you know what, sweetie? I really don't agree with you saying, but I'm sorry you feel that way. And that's not dismissing them. That's acknowledging their feelings. But you are also saying, I do not agree. You don't have to agree. But you don't have to sit up and be dismissive. And number 10, you want to have a witness, witnesses or third party intervention. So when you have a disagreement, it's okay to have a mentor couple that has been married for a long time, that has a, a healthy relationship. And they can just be in the room while you guys are talking and you telling your mate what you are unhappy about. And that way, it's like they can tell you when you are hitting below the belt or if it gets out of hand, the conversation. Or you may need a third party, which is counseling. And it's okay to have counseling if you can't, guys can't communicate effectively with each other. Now, I'm going to throw in a few bonuses. Number one... Don't make it be all about yourself. Don't say you, 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 you know, make sure you say I so that the person that you're talking to doesn't feel defensive and don't talk all day. Let the person, your spouse get a chance to 
answer you. But if you just continue to talk and continue to talk and wah, 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 and wah, it gets to be wah, 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 wah. And then the other person is listening, doesn't get a chance to speak their mind, then that's going to be a problem. And last, be willing to compromise. Whatever the problem is, even if it's, you feel like it's a small problem and your mate feels like it's not a small problem, you still have to compromise and be understanding because what might not be important to, not important to you obviously is important to your, to your significant other. And it's really important to make sure that they feel like they're being heard and you're going to make changes and that means to compromise. Effective communication can be very, very, very hard to accomplish, but you can accomplish, you can learn. And I've been married for 10 years with my husband for 12, and we are still working on effective communications. So I hope that you receive what I'm saying tonight. I hope you receive the message. And stay in peace and not in pieces. And thank you for watching my channel.